Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amit. Today we are going to answer this question. If you need to convert a data type from string to integer, which transformation will you use in SSIS package? So let's go to SSDT or bids, whatever you have according to the version of uh, SSIS installed on your system. So here, what we have here, we have control flow. In the control flow where we control the logic or the uh, flow or a flow of execution of a package so we will not be using any transformation or we do not have any transformation uh, in the control flow we have uh, the transformations are available in the data flow task so I'm bringing a data flow task here inside the data flow task I have to read some data from some source so I'm going to read the data from one of the table I have real quick and then show you which transformation can be used to convert the data type so here what what transformation we have we have data conversion itself the name from the name we can tell okay this transformation can be used to convert the data okay let's bring the data conversion and connect with our source now open it so we can see that let's uh, assume I want to convert ID to the string and in this case what I have ID is a DTI4 that's a signed integer if I want to convert to the string, I can do it here. So I have to find a string DTSTR and then I have to define the length and I can give the name of the column. So let's say I want to say ID string ID or ID underscore string. This is not maybe real time converting ID to the string, uh, but the, what I'm trying to tell here, uh, this uh, transformation can be used uh, to convert the data type from one to another uh, the same way you can uh, do it uh, phone number let's say you have phone number here is a string but you want to save uh, into a table that has a phone number as a number so you can always go back and change to the um, maybe sign integer we can see um, unsigned integer sign integer let's say you want to do that so copy of phone number you can always uh, um, give the proper name say maybe data conversion so you want to see DC and uh, then uh, you want to say phone number okay so this is one way to convert uh, your data type of a column and uh, we have another transformation that's called derived column transformation that can be used to do the conversions as well so let's open this one and now what we have here we have columns here so if I want to convert the ID I, ha I can convert it but here it, it doesn't give me the drop down the way I was getting the drop down in the data conversion transformation so what I have to do I have to write my own expressions to convert it so here if you see that there are type cast so type cast are, are the cast functions available to us or the types that we can use in the expressions to convert it let's assume that uh, this is sign integer and I want to convert to the um, string so how I will do it so if you remember in the data conversion uh, transformation so we use a DTSTR so I have to find a DTSTR here and then uh, I'm gonna put it right in front of it and then here what we have to have we have to provide the length let's in our case it is fifth IDs are not gonna be that long so let's say 10 and then uh, page code is that's uh, the correlation code uh, of our SSIS and uh, SQL Server um, in our case it's the Latin one um, so that's uh, what the code uh, number is so you see here that's how you are going to convert uh, or cast uh, your um, data type of a column uh, we did in, in our case we did uh, it was uh, integer and now with this uh, uh, cast uh, we, we are converting to the um, string and now if you see here it's a NC Latin 1 and length is 10 and DTSTR so there are two ways you can do it you can use data conversion and you can use a drive column so um, what I prefer if you ask me I use a drive column uh, if the data is coming as a null I want to take a look and I can write expression if it is null, I can um, convert to maybe zero if it is a um, integer type and uh, you know write a further expression to cast to the uh, required format uh, in data conversion you don't have that option where you can write expressions 
So d depending on the choice, if it is straightforward, you can go for direct conversion. If uh, you, you have to have a couple of conditions and uh, you can use the drive column. Thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you next video.